Okay, in this video we're going to be printing a 19 inch uh, Lamborghini wheel. Uh, we're going to be printing it on this huge uh, Builder Extreme 1500. Uh, then we're going to be sanding it down um, in various ways and then we're going to also be treating it with XTC 3D uh, to give it a nice smooth finish. And then we're going to finally paint it uh, with some spray paint and also add some details as well. So hopefully uh, stay tuned and we'll check out and see how it turns out. So once we decided we were going to print a, a wheel on the Builder Extreme 1500, we had a look on Thingiverse and we found uh, this file, uh, which was a Lamborghini wheel, and it's created by Stefan, so thanks Stefan for that. Um, it's a really cool looking wheel, but obviously this file was created for a smaller scale print, but we downloaded it anyway and wanted to see what the resolution would be like at larger scale. So we took it into Simplify 3D and added it to the Builder Extreme 1500 build volume, and as you can see it's quite small. We're going to have to scale this up, so we did so by about 800, 850% I believe. And then we got the sort of real world scale we were after. And there you go, so that's going to take up most of the build volume. I'm going to have to add some supports here. Um, we've got a few areas, uh, the arches here that will probably need to be filled in. And obviously the individual arms as well of the, of the actual wheel. So we have to put some support in there. So we use the automatic uh, support system of Simplify 3D, which is awesome. And I think that looks pretty good. There's a few little bits we can get rid of there. So we'll just take those out, and probably not the very necessary. So we'll just get rid of those. And now we'll take it through to be sliced. So here's a quick preview of the wheel. Uh, it's all been sliced up and ready to go. As you can see, we've given it quite a decent infill, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy. We're printing in black PLA from Builder, and these are 4.5 kilo spools, so they're fairly large, so you don't have to worry about running out when you're doing these big prints. So once the actual first part of the wheel was finished, we decided then to model out the back of the wheel, so we were going to make the full wheel. Um, we did this using Autodesk Fusion 360, and here you can see it all sliced and ready to go to the printer. We did have to add a fair bit of support, but what we did do is to make it hollow, so uh, essentially it's just an empty space, an empty void in between the two walls, um, so this would uh, shorten the printing time down quite substantially. Um, obviously there was quite a bit of support, but um, it was worth it to get a nice clean finish. So once the prints were completed, uh, James had the task of removing all the support material, um, which we do with some pliers here. And then once that was done, we opted for a, a contact adhesive to bind the two parts together. You do this by just basically putting it on both of the sides that you want to attach. Um, and you have to be careful when aligning them because once you put them down, it's very hard to separate them again. You have to make sure they're in place and aligned nicely. The next job to do was to just give the, the wheel an overall sanding. Um, so we did that using an electric sander. Uh, and we'd advise if you're going to do something like this to take it outside because it can get a little dusty. So after the initial sanding, we used a car body filler to fill in the gap in between the two parts that we joined together. And we also did a little bit around the outside rim as well, um, just to smooth it down. This was then set aside and left to dry, and we left it overnight. Um, and then we then sand this down again, just to get a nice smooth finish. Once we were finished with the sanding, we then took the wheel back into the showroom to apply some XTC 3D. Uh, this is a two-part resin and you just basically apply it all over the print and it, what it does is it fills in the gaps um, in the striations of the actual printing process so it gives you a nice smooth surface and you have the ability to then sand it down further and prime and paint on top of it. Once the XTC 3D had dried we gave it one last sanding with some wet sandpaper and then we were ready to prime. We used a standard grey primer here and just tried to evenly coat the wheel. We gave it about three coats and then we were ready for colour. We chose a matte black and again gave it about three coats. Once this was completed, we left it to dry overnight and then we began to paint in the detail. And we did this by masking off the small bolts around the wheel and we painted it with some silver metallic paint. And then lastly, we added the badge. We also used the same uh, contact adhesive to stick this to the wheel. Okay, so that's our Lamborghini wheel now completely finished. 
Um, obviously, it did take quite a while to post-process, but it was definitely worth the effort. Um, and it just goes to show you that even with a sort of low to medium quality print, um, you can still achieve a really nice final product with a bit of post-processing. Um, we're going to look to do a lot more of these sort of large scale prints and um, projects with uh, Builder. Um, so stay tuned for those. Um, and if, if you want to find out any more about the Builder range in general, uh, please feel free to contact us and we'll give you some more information on those. Um, and please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.